Marching through an ultra-Orthodox neighborhood of Jerusalem, members of the Army Reservist Group Brothers in Arms confront residents. Not just prayers, we also need the Army. We also need the Army, not just prayers. We need you. We're collapsing under the burden. We're collapsing under the burden. Some protesters were caught in scuffles and heated arguments, with tensions reaching boiling point over a military exemption for ultra-Orthodox Jews, which dates back to Israel's founding in 1948. In about six months of war, more than 500 Israeli soldiers have been killed. Most Jewish men are required to serve nearly three years in the military, followed by years of reserve duty, while Jewish women serve two mandatory years. But the politically powerful ultra-Orthodox, who make up roughly 13% of Israeli society, have traditionally received exemptions while studying full-time in religious seminaries. Ruling the current system discriminatory, the Supreme Court gave the government until April 1st to present a new plan and until June 30 to pass it. Last week, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu asked the court for a 30-day extension to find a compromise. I can tell you that the ultra-Orthodox went a long way. They agreed to things that we weren't expecting them to, that they never agreed to before. I think we can solve the problem. Netanyahu's ultra-Orthodox allies are fiercely opposed to the conscription for their community, and Israel's fragile governing coalition would crumble without them. Those favoring a review of the exemption include Netanyahu's defense minister and other cabinet members managing the war. As of April 1st, following a Supreme Court ruling, the government will have to suspend subsidies for yeshiva students of enlistment age who have not received a deferral from the army.